Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video of Just Another Guy on the Internet. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the SS City of New York, made by Creepercraft City. And yes, this is the first uh, ship of the Inman line that we will be reviewing. Um, so I don't think a lot of people know about the Inman line. It was uh, basically another uh, you know, competitor with uh, Cunard and White Star Line. Um, but they actually ended up seizing operations in the 1890s when they were merged with the American line. So, yeah, and the city of New York and the sister ship, uh, the city of Paris, were actually the last ships uh, built for that company. So, a little bit of history there. Um, this ship is also probably best known for almost colliding with Titanic during her main voyage. Um, the collision was uh, avoided at the last minute, so they actually never ended up colliding. Though it would be interesting to see how history would have played out if they actually, uh, if there was an actual collision. So yeah, it does look really nice. You know, both the actually you know how Creepercraft built it with you know a lot of detail. Um, and also I am, I also do like the actual uh, ship itself. You know, it's not too bad. It's pretty. Nice design here. And this is the new one. There actually is uh, the old one, which I still have. If uh, Creepercraft did not um, build this one, which is, I think, from 2019, um, then I would be reviewing the old one. So that's kind of how I'm doing these reviews. And yeah, so lots of detail. Just getting some... Uh, you know, some different shots here and there of the uh, ship. Looks really good from all angles. And yeah. So, let's start uh, taking a look at the interior. So you have the bridge. Uh, I like the new uh, telegraph uh, design here. It actually looks like an actual telegraph. So, yeah, a lot of rigging. Yeah, you got uh, three funnels. I know later in her career only got uh, two. One was removed. And yeah, so down here is the wheelhouse. So, and behind that is the captain with his uh, private bath and chart room. So, yeah, you know, got stairs, you got some skylights, and you got the dome that overlooks the dining saloon, uh, which we'll be getting to shortly. And then really all that's here is just, uh, you know, vents, you know, funnels, uh, skylights, and even some, uh, like, collapsible boats here, which you see on Titanic, so pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, a lot of vents. <laughs> Um, the MN line was also kind of uh, focused with, you know, speed, just like Cunard, so. So yeah, this ship really, you know, would have been competing with, you know, Cunard's Umbria and Etoria, which we actually uh, uh, ended up checking out the Umbria in the previous video, and also White Star's Teutonic and Majestic, so. And, you know, just more lifeboats, yeah, Liverpool, you know. So let's see. Down in the promenade deck, well, on the promenade deck, you know, um, you have passenger accommodation. You know, alongside you have you know some benches and it's pretty interesting design here. You see that the lifeboats like are on like this little like like these stages. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's a really interesting design. So yeah, crew only. Um, so yeah, just vents. And this is the actual forecastle. So yeah, chains and whatnot. Um, and right here... Oh wow, this is interesting. Look at the uh, red text. Yeah, so this is crew. And so first class entrance. The very forward section. So yeah, you have 
uh, very nice uh, staterooms. I like the uh, new bed design here. And uh, these have private baths, so, you know, for 1888, that's, uh, you know, definitely very interesting to see. I say a staircase, yeah, promenade deck. A crew only? Oh, yeah, that's the organ. Uh, you'll see that uh, later. It's the technical use only. So, yeah, I know. Another uh, stateroom, that's pretty much a mirror of the uh, other one. So, these two staterooms are really nice. Um, grand entrance. So, yeah, kind of the main staircase for first class. Um, so, you have the drawing room. Now, the drawing room is not for drawing. Um, it's just, you know, meant to as kind of a retreat after, uh, after dinner, you know, you would draw to the, uh, to the uh, drawing room for, uh, ladies, and the gentlemen would go to the smoke room, so. And it also has this bay window that overlooks the dining saloon, so there's a little sneak peek at it. And, yeah, drawing room looks really nice. And it's also got, you know, some skylights. Uh, so yeah, another look at the staircase. Very colorful skylight. And you got the uh, library. So, you know, you can read or, you know, also probably uh, write as well. You know, very nice design. I like the flooring. You know, it's a very interesting flooring. So yeah, you got stairs going down. Let's stick to uh, this deck. Uh, so let's see, staterooms entrance. So yeah, you got more staterooms. This one's kind of like divided into two. You know, it has like this little small setting area. And then the actual bedroom. With a private bath, of course. <laughs> so just take a look at some of these rooms. All in the same style. And we have more staterooms. It's a very interesting uh, layout here. You just have like separate, like almost private entrances. So, and these are also the same. No need to check those out. You know, you got lavatories, an actual like bath here, like actual bathroom. Uh huh. So, just lavatories, staterooms. Yeah, these are just actual, you know cabins, no private baths or sitting rooms. Uh-huh, so. Yeah, you know, you got state rooms and some cabins. And you have the aft staircase. There's more cabins here. And I think that's it. Oh no, we have more state rooms. Yeah. And let's see, so this is a cargo hatch, okay. And yeah, now we're in uh, second class. So second class entrance. So main staircase. And the smoke room. Really small. <laughs> you know, it Kind of the same size as what you would see on Teutonic and Majestic, and also uh, the Umbria also had a really small smoke room for second class. You know, the second class areas are actually the smallest, you know, they contain the least amount of passengers and are the smallest sections uh, overall, you know, compared to first and third class. And that's really it for, uh, for second class, you know, there's this uh, deck space back here, and that's really it for the, uh, you know, actual promenade deck for crew only, okay. So yeah, there's the promenade deck for you. Next up we have the saloon deck. You know, there's a little bit of promenade here. So at the bow you have crew. You know, these are the stairs that we, uh, you know, that lead up to the forecastle. Now, cargo hatches, let's see. Immigrants, yeah, so you have a little bit of uh, third class, or really I should say steerage mixed in with crew, as you see with 
many, uh, many ships. So, you know, just crew areas, some, you know, lavatories. Seaman and firemen. The very front. Yeah, and you also have the uh, galley for the refrigerator. So yeah, and then what's back here? Yeah, just more immigrants. We'll be getting to that uh, later in the video. So let's find an entrance. Okay. Oh yeah, so here's, you know, entrances for the boiler rooms. I got a pantry. Stairs to galley. Yeah, just boiler rooms. Alright, first class entrance. So, you know, you have a gangway here. And we're standing within some cabins. You know, there's some lock. What was that? Oh, it's just because of the... Okay. So, yeah, more, uh... More state rooms with, uh... A lot of them with private baths. Oh, and yes, here's the uh, children's dining saloon. So Inman Line also, you know, kind of did the whole Cunard thing with, you know, having the children, having a separate saloon. You know, and the idea was, you know, it would, uh, if your kids came here, then it would be cheaper to pay. You know, if you're, you, you could bring your children to the main saloon, but you would have to pay more for that. So, you know, it's kind of to encourage, you know, children to kind of have their own little area. You know, during uh, dinner and stuff. Say, so, you know, got pantry, locker. So, yeah, here's the main staircase that comes down and it opens right into the dining saloon for first class. And this is my favorite room on the entire ship. Uh, I really like the skylight, you know, slash dome. And yeah, so here's the other uh, staircase. Mm. So yeah, and you even have an organ as well, so that's where the, uh, you know, the organ loft is. And the bay window for the drawing room. So yeah, really nice room. And I think he really did it justice. Uh, stairs to upper deck, so yeah, you know, that goes down to a bunch of cabins. Again, we'll be checking that out later. And you also have stairs going down to even more cabins. Uh, so yeah, just, you know, pretty much the same as the other side. Yeah, drawing room. More cabins. And you kind of have this interesting uh, hallway here. Reminds me something of what you, what you would see on the uh, Kaiser Wilhelm der Groza. Yeah, chief engineer gets a really nice cabin. Looks like a first-class cabin. And yeah, and these windows uh, overlook the uh, two engine hatches on each side. So, and you also kind of see that with Lusitania and Mauritania, and also some of the other German liners. So yeah, lavatories. And this is the uh, aft staircase. So it comes down here with even more, you know, just the cabins. These ones don't have private baths. So yeah, saloon deck. Uh, alternate cabin's entrance. Oh, so, okay, yeah. And you have the smoke room. And a bar as well. So yeah, here's the smoke room. You know, got a skylight. You know, plenty of seating. A really nice smoke room. You know, it's simple, but it's... Really nice. Oh, uh, and you also have the barber shop. Um, so that's it for uh, first class on the saloon deck. Then back here, you know, you have the second class entrance. So yeah, here's where the staircase comes down. Um, you have the dining saloon. So really small, you know, because there's not a whole lot of passengers. For second class. And 
yeah, you have another entrance, gangways, uh, officers' accommodations. So they're back here. So yeah, second officer, the doctor. So yeah, and a little bit of you know crew areas, you know officers mess as well. Fourth officer, third officer. Uh, random bar here. Pantry. So yeah, this should be yeah more immigrants. I got a little skylight. Lavatories, capstan, locker, yeah. And you got some stewards at the very back. Oh, and the uh, hospital. <laughs> so, yeah, male hospital. And just lavatories. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and these uh, stairs lead up to the, uh, to the, uh, stern. Alright, so up next is the upper deck. So now we're getting, uh, down to the hull, getting deeper and deeper into the ship. So, yeah, you know, forwards, you have, uh, crew. Yeah, these are, uh, yeah, seamen and firemen. You know, typical, you know, crew uh, accommodations. And even more down here. Yeah, just kind of crammed them down here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of beds. Holy cow. Yeah, so these are the uh, immigrants, uh, you know, accommodation. You know, usually what you see for this time period, you know, just dormitory style. Just all in one room. You know, you could probably, like, about a hundred in here. More immigrants, you know, cargo hatches, staircases. Really all you'll find. Let's see, so we're back in first class. And, yeah, so you have, um, you know, if you're from the dining saloon, you can go down here. Got more accommodation down to the main deck. Uh, this area is a little bit of a, of a maze. <laughs> I'm trying to find the uh, stair. Okay, so so that's uh, it for this little area. Then you know it's all kind of divided into like the different sections. So yeah, then there's a separate staircase here. So these uh, stairs lead from the uh, main staircase, you know, even more accommodation, uh, stewardesses, yeah, you'll, uh, notice that I'm using the newest version of Minecraft, uh, for the videos before I was using, um, I was using an older version because I was using Optifine, so, you know, I would, I'm probably still going to use Optifine for some of the older maps, but for the newer maps, I have to use the new version because then uh, you get problems. The map doesn't load in and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, so, let's see. Let's just fly through here. Um, we got a little bit of crew areas here. Yeah, so this was uh, from the promenade deck. Stairs to galley. Uh, so, bar. Wait, what is that? Donkey boiler? Huh. Uh, now, let's see, where are we? Stairs to quarters, okay, scullery, baker shop. So, yes, yeah, you know, kind of a uh, galley area. I'm not sure where it connects to. That's what I'm trying to find out. Okay. Coal, okay. <laughs> Chef's office. So, so yeah, typical, you know, galley area. Engine hatch. And then you have, uh, back in first class. 
Yeah, I can see that this ship is uh, kind of laid out pretty weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have the aft staircase. Okay, so yeah, you just have more first class. You know, baths and whatnot. Cabins, yeah. And now we should be in second class. Or the, uh, you know, like, alternate, you know, uh, cabins. So probably, like, you know, either first or second class, depending on, you know, which is booked. So if, like, all the first class cabins are booked and you still need some more, you know, these would be first class. If second class is booked and they need more second class, then, you know, second class. Just, uh, here, you know, you do see this on other ships. See, so, yeah, on these staircases... Ah, okay. So, from the, uh, dining saloon and smoke room. Alright. So, let's see, a cargo hatch, and then back here is more second class, I believe. Uh, should be, yep. And then at the stern, you have, you know, Steerage, immigrants, third class, whatever you want to call it. And yeah. Alright, so we have one more deck left, and that's the upper deck. And then we can get to the, you know, the below the waterline parts, you know, like. So yeah, we're already here. We don't really need to go here again. Yeah, you know, crew. Immigrants, uh, so first class accommodation down in the main deck. So, still really nice cabins, you know, for being uh, possibly the cheapest ones you can get. So yeah, you know, those stairs come down, you know, from the dining saloon. From the uh, you know kind of the main staircase area, uh, looks like yeah a little bit of crew spaces you know for you know cooks and some of the that work in the uh, galleys. All right. What is this? Milk? Okay. Larder. And yeah, so you have the engine spaces. And this should be the last of first class down on the main deck. Second class, so yeah, pretty much, you know, just accommodation. Uh, even more second class. Yeah, and all of the uh, staircases, and you know, they don't go down, you know, deeper than the main deck. And you also have the last of uh, the immigrants. So yeah, not really sure, you know, how I should do these tours. I kind of do them differently. Sometimes, you know, I go deck by deck. Sometimes, you know, I kind of go like by compartment by compartment, you know, water type compartments. So I don't know which is better. You know, you guys could leave recommendations if there's a preferred method. Oh, and that's right. The uh, for these newer ships, the uh, cargo holds are uh, kind of makes them, you know, dark. You know, because you know there wouldn't really be any lighting here. So it's hard to see. That's uh, that's going to be an issue. But you know, this one's kind of lit up, so you kind of get an idea. You know, of what would be here. Yeah, lots of cargo spaces. Oh, here you can see a little bit better. Yeah. Lots of detail as well. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, boiler rooms. Here we go. Now you can actually see something. So yeah, here are the boiler rooms. So you have the uh, escape ladders, you know, leading up to the saloon deck. Long way down. 
So yeah, catwalks, uptakes. And then, uh, you know, some coal bunkers as well. And uh, these are separate. There's no, like, watertight doors, you know, connecting them. Alright, so yeah, all these are separate. Yeah, pretty much, you know, the same. Okay, so here you have the engines. This looks like reciprocating. And so yeah, you know, you got some engineer accommodations here. You know, the engineers are always uh, stationed very close to the engines, you know, because it's, you know, convenient. Oh, uh, wait, so... Okay. Um, let's see, not really... And it looks like, uh, yup, so uh, there's a bulkhead dividing the, uh, the engine room in half. And you have the propeller shafts. At the very back, so there's, uh... Should be two of them. Yep. And then got some more cargo here. Huh. So, there you guys go. There is the city of New York. Yeah, really, uh, really nice ship, I must say. You know, Creepercraft never uh, ceases to amaze me. He definitely uh, makes some really good ships. Um, so yeah, you know, if you're you know gonna download uh, you know the uh, City of New York map, definitely you know get the new one. You know, the the old one you know is pretty good, but you know this one has a lot more detail is and is more accurate. So definitely get this one. And, uh, I would definitely like to see more Inman Line ships from him, and just more Inman Line ships in general, because, really, I don't think they get enough love, so. You know, Cunard, um, you know, White Star kind of take away all of the glory from them, so. I would definitely like to see more, you know, I would like to also see, you know, the sister ship, but, you know, some of the other ships as well. You know, like the, uh, City of Glasgow, I think was one of the first ships of the company. Um, the city of Brussels, the city of Rome, so definitely would like to see more of those. And yeah guys, so that's going to be it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. So, bye for now.